episode is a part of a collaboration with a few of my fellow YouTube history channels called Project Homecoming 2, where we pay tribute to the history of our own hometown. All of our video topics needed to fit either the place where we live now or the place where we grew up. Since I currently live in Montana and was born and raised in Texas, I decided on the history of the Four Sixes Ranch. Not only has this ranch made a famous appearance in the popular series Yellowstone, which is set in my current state of Montana, but the ranch itself is very close to my original hometown of Fort Worth, Texas. I hope you enjoy the video and make sure to check out the other videos in the playlist. Located primarily in Guthrie, Texas and sprawling across more than 260,000 acres, the Four Sixes Ranch is a legendary plot of land steeped in cowboy lore. Its founder, Samuel Burke Burnett, was born in 1849 in Bates County, Missouri. His family moved to Denton County, Texas when he was just a young boy, and it was there that he got his first real taste of the cattle business. By the age of 19, he began his career as a rancher with his first small herd. His determination and unique blend of grit and foresight soon set him apart from his contemporaries. If he saw an opportunity, he seized it making an impressive income herding large groups of cattle to neighboring territories in Oklahoma and Kansas. But life wasn't always a smooth ride for Burnett. In the 1870s, there was a series of droughts that devastated many ranchers. However, Burnett was always one step ahead. He relocated his herd to Oklahoma on lands leased from Native American tribes. During these formative years, Burnett met the respected Comanche chief, Quanah Parker, a friendship that led to the construction of the Star House in Oklahoma. Though he started with only a $1,000 loan and a 100 head of cattle, he quickly put his profits into land acquisition, purchasing properties in the Panhandle and West Texas, gaining grazing tracts of over 100,000 acres in Garza, Kent, and King Counties. By the early 1900s, Burnett's reputation as ranching royalty was set in stone. It was during this time that the Four Sixes Ranch was born. From there, he started raising purebred Durham and Hereford bulls and built his notorious ranch house, where he hosted some of his famous friends, including Will Rogers and Teddy Roosevelt. Burnett also became the president of the Fort Worth Stock Show, where he introduced rodeos and expanded the area with space for exhibits. In 1921, oil was discovered on the property, adding another layer to his list of lucrative ventures. Burnett passed away in 1922, but his legacy endured and his brand continued to be a symbol of ranching excellence under the stewardship of his granddaughter, Anne Valiant Tandy. The newfound wealth from oil revenues allowed the Four Sixes Ranch to invest in infrastructure and modernization. It was at this time that the ranch began breeding their famed quarter horses and became recognized by the American public at large for the red barn used in Marlboro's cigarette ads of the 60s and 70s. The ranch stayed in family hands until the year 2020, when it went off the market after the death of Anne Burnett Marion. And guess who decided to buy this legendary tract of land for a whopping $347 million? Yep, none other than Taylor Sheridan, the man who created the Yellowstone series, where the ranch is featured heavily in season four. Rumor has it that a Yellowstone spinoff series based on the Four Sixes Ranch is in the works, perhaps even starring one of the world's most favorite Texans. All right, all right, all right. Thanks for watching, y'all. What do you think about the Four Sixes Ranch? And would you watch the series? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a future video. And be sure to take a look at the other videos in the Project Homecoming 2 playlist.